God bless you. I'm Bishop Eric Butler, and I am coming to you from the Joy of Life Ministries Faith Church in Omaha, Nebraska. And I'm so excited to share with you today. This is an important week in uh, Christian faith. Uh, this is what we call Passion Week, the week between Palm Sunday and Resurrection Day. And uh, I want to share with you this Palm Sunday story today, coming to us from John, the 12th chapter and the 12th verse. And it says, on the next day, much people or many people that were come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the King of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. I wanna share with you and remind us today that Jesus still is the King. Jesus still is the King. This most important time of our Christian faith, the time in which we celebrate the crucifixion and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, this is the cornerstone of our faith. And we understand that it's because of the great sacrifice that Jesus Christ did that we can have our sins forgiven and we could have access to not just eternal life, but access to everlasting life. For God so loved the world in John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life beginning now and forever. So this week that, or the beginning of the season that we call Passion Week, it begins with Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And we celebrate this event and we call it Palm Sunday because during his entry into Jerusalem, people threw palm trees along the way. It's interesting that this story is recorded in all four gospels, but it's noteworthy to note that only John, the writer that focuses on the deity and the messiahship of Jesus Christ, specifically mentions palm trees. The other writers mention, in fact, clothes that were thrown in the way, which is a sign of natural respect. But John mentioned palm trees specifically, which is really a symbol of victory. It is saying that Jesus was going to be providing us the victory and that he is the victor even though the crowds at the time didn't really understand arguably exactly what was to come. It's also interesting to find that in uh, John's description here in the uh, Gospel of St. John, he uses these words, blessed is the king of Israel that comes in the name of the Lord. Webster's dictionary defines a king as someone who is a monarch, someone who is sovereign, someone who holds life tenure and is a chief and final authority. There are many purposes for us to celebrate Palm Sunday, but one of the chief purposes is to remind those of us that have been born again that Jesus is our King. We have all types of leaders in our society. We have spiritual leaders, we have presidents, we have premiers, we have business leaders, we have leaders of all types and shapes, and all of them have some measure of authority. Even some of them have some significant authority, but they all are under authority to our King, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Because a king is entitled to rule, because a king has royal heritage, because a king has the lineage coming from one who has the ultimate power, a king has the right to demand loyalty, honor, respect, and obedience. We understand that when there's a king or a kingdom, it is not a democracy. You cannot ultimately do whatever you want. But because we have a king that so loved us, he gave his life for the sole reason to save us. On Palm Sunday, they were celebrating his triumphant entry. They were saying Hosanna, which not only is a sound of praise, but it was really a statement meaning help me or help us now. All too quickly in the space of a week, they went from crying Hosanna to crying crucify him. During the cries of Hosanna, they probably really didn't understand how much of a help he would be. And during the cries of crucify him, they really didn't understand the power that they would have by the 
virtue of the crucifixion and the resurrection and how it would free us forever. Today, we may not understand or uh, realize um, or even appreciate everything that we're experiencing or going through or dealing with. But on this Passion Week, starting from yesterday, Palm Sunday, through this coming Sunday, Resurrection, let's remember Jesus still is the King. He still has the ultimate authority and he so loved us that he gave his life so that we can have life. Again, let's pray. Father, we thank you again for this time and opportunity of sharing. We thank you for your people everywhere. We thank you for encouraging and lifting and strengthening them. We thank you for your son whose life was given so that we could have eternal life. We thank you that you so loved us that you shared so that we can be in the place of having abundant life. We thank you for all things. Thank you for keeping us and protecting us even during these times. And we pray in your name. Thank God. Amen. God bless you. Again, remember, God is still God and he is still in control.